Question 14 says an air puck of mass 0 0.3 kilograms is tied to a string and allowed to revolve in a circle of radius 1.3 meters on a frictionless horizontal table. The other end of the string passes through a hole in the center of the table and a mass of 1.1 kilograms is tied to it. See the figure. The suspended mass remains in equilibrium while the puck on the tabletop revolves. So what it's saying is that there's a this puck is revolving and that there's an, an acceleration, a centripetal, a centripetal force that, uh, that this is fighting and so it's fighting with equal force in this direction by traveling at, at a right angle from the radius. So it's, it's tangential velocity <coughs> is such that it is able to fight all of the pull of this string. So what is the pull of this string? Well, um, it's, it's pulling in this way at, at the same amount of force that this, this portion of the string is pulling up this way. And so it's pulling up. Uh, since, since we have, let's look at the block under the table. We'll do a free body diagram. It's got a force up of T and a force down of, <coughs> of uh, gravity times mass. And so T, since the object's not moving, T equals gravity times mass. And so the first part of the question, part A, it says, what is the tension in the string? Well, it's simply, it is, you look at what mass number 2 is. So this is mass 2. Mass number 2 is 1.1 kilograms times 9.8. So the tension equals the gra mass times the gravity. So this, well, it's equal and opposite. So since gravity is a negative 9.8, tension will be a positive 9.8. And so you work that out, and it equals 10.78 newtons. Then the second question is, what is the horizontal force acting on the puck? So at what what force is acting in this direction? Well, the for let's let's draw out the free body diagram of this puck. So it's got a string attached to it. And we're gonna we're gonna do the string. We're gonna act like the puck is at the top. It's got a string attached to it, pulling it this way and it's got a, a force pulling it out that way. So what is that force? Since, since this, um, we're going to call this the, the um, actually we're going to call this the tension. We're going to call this the negative centripetal force. Now, when we, you do your free body diagrams in class, I don't know if this is right. So please, by all means, watch the videos that I have not yet watched and figure out what this is supposed to be labeled as because um, I, I don't know if that's the proper labeling but you're going to see that algebraically it works out so we saw that T, that tension, was 10.78 because this, this puck isn't moving and because, and because our, our weight isn't moving they're both at equilibrium uh, well this, this is actually moving in a circle but it's not moving inward um, any more than it's moving outward. So it's moving outward with the same force that it's moving inward, which keeps it at the same distance the entire time around the circle. So um, if T equals 10.78, we know that T equals the negative AC, uh, which is the centripetal force. So um, in saying negative, I'm, I'm saying that this vector right here would be a negative quantity, and so because the, the force pulling inward is AC, then the negative of that negative quantity would be our positive. So this would be a positive, so the, the tension equals this, so this, this centripetal acceleration. And actually, th this isn't even right anyhow. Now, I'll just be quite honest with you. I don't know what to label this outward force right here. So we're just going to label it force. Okay? So the force pulling outward, it has to equal it has to equal the tension. The force has to equal the tension. And so we said the tension is 10.78. So that's what the force, the horizontal force acting on the puck is 10.78 newtons as well. So the last part of that is um, what is the speed of the puck? Well, we know the force of the puck, so the force of this puck is 10.78 newtons, 
And so the force equals the mass times the the angular the centripetal acceleration. And so we we know what the mass is, 0 0.3. So we can say that that 10.78 equals 0 0.3 times the the uh, the centripetal acceleration. And so you divide by 0.3, and so the centripetal acceleration equals 35.933 uh, meters per second squared. But we also know that the centripetal acceleration has a has a formula of of uh, v squared, or let's do squared, right? V squared over radius. And so we can plug in all of our, our information for the radius and for the acceleration. So the centripetal acceleration times the radius equals v squared. Or we could say that the square root, so the, the square root of these equals v. So 35.933 times 1.3, I'm going to plug that in my calculator, times 1.3. Is is so we got the square root of 46.713 equals v, and so I'm going to take the square root of that, and that v equals 6.834. So this is meters per second. So the speed of the puck it's traveling 6.834 meters per second.